so good at getting in and out that he can avoid the retaliation and still get back in yeah. to punish effectively. So yeah, it looks like... See a lot of uh, jab, dash, dance, back out and back in. Yep. Dogi told me that Lijun has a, a pocket chic, but it looks like he's going to stick with his young link for this match right here. And here we have game one on Battlefield. Toph versus Lijun. Alright, Toph is actually a pretty solid box. Yeah, definitely. Quite good, quite good. He did really good at ROM. He came to the East Coast for ROM back in November. And uh, he's hoping to have a repeat performance, I guess, and uh, do well here at Apex. Alright, nice snare to get out of that. Great pressure. Nice edge guard. And this was an issue that we saw in the Link vs. Young Link match is that those characters couldn't really edge guard each other. Because they, they, yeah. they, the best way to edge guard Young Link and Link is to approach them from below and avoid the up B. And uh, Fox is so great from below because he has double jump back air, double jump shine, and his jump is so fast that he can re grab the ledge before Young Link even hits him. So, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky thing uh, edge guarding these two characters. Like with Young Link, you can wait until they come up over the ledge because what a lot of Links and Young Links like to do is come up over the edge because they've got that hitbox coming out in front of them. Yep. And it you know it makes them feel safe and it does give them a measure of safety. But you just wait for the ending lag and then come down with the back air with Fox and that usually ends it. And it's really not that hard to pull off. Yeah. Poor DI by Toph on that neutral air ends his stock a little earlier than he probably wanted. But he has great pressure on Lijin again. He's able to avoid all these up airs. Up air has a really good hitbox, so the fact that he's able to avoid it so well. Up air has an amazing hitbox on yep. it. It's uh, it's absolutely it's one of one of Link's uh, best anti airs. Yep. In fact, it's one of the best anti airs in the game, to be honest. Oh, great trade. Up smash went there. He knew Lijin wanted to keep the offense on. Up smash. It's a really quick move. It's only four sixtieths of a fr second, or as we call them, frames. <laughs> so. So he was very confident that his move would come out fast enough to counter anything that Lijin did. All right, nice pressure. Doesn't go. I notice he's not going with the direct tech chases, uh, but he's waiting to see how his opponent reacts after a couple of pressure strings. Yep. Which is really nice because uh, you can fall into spot dodge traps with that. Your opponent will just spot dodge and then they'll retaliate. Yep. Whatever move that they just dodged. And it goes back to what we were just saying about Fox's speed. Mm -hmm. Oh, gets grabbed. See what he can get off of this. You never want to let the spaces go once you hit them. You want to make yep. the most of it. Elijah's doing a really good. He hasn't let go yet. Oh, get that. Ooh. He, he, he released in there a little too late, and that yeah. made it so he couldn't recover in time. And so, like, this used to be kind of an unknown matchup for spaces, and they would get hit by that narrow lot because they, uh, they would start their Firefox way too close to the stage. Yep. Uh, but recently, like, I don't know, let's say the last few months, uh, last six months. Oh. Ooh. Toph with a disrespectful time. But He's like, I'm not going to let you get away with that. And he lives. Or maybe. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> Legend's able to close out the stuff. I think Toph wanted the freedom to play a little uh, more aggressive. So he's like, just take my stock already, bro. Like, I don't want to be at 160% because yeah. I spent too much time recovering. I, 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 I love seeing an aggressive fox. I absolutely love it because there's so many foxes that are very campy. Yep. Uh, you know, they're just all about zoning. Definitely. There it is. Nice neutral air. Fox is there it is. Nice down air. Uh, I, I, I want to see Legend fish for a down smash. It, it's a really risky move, but if he can catch Fox in an approach, he can finish off this stock relatively quickly without having to do too much edge guard work. But Toph is being very, very jumpy right now, so I think what Lijon is primarily thinking about is getting a Nair in there. Yep, definitely. Ooh, and it's going to throw up air, seals the match. <laughs> I love the sign language that goes on back here. <laughs> yeah, it's so great. Uh, the commentator. No, I'm sorry, I just bit my lip. <laughs> the commentators are all like really good friends. I've known all of them. And most of them are Tri-State because we're the Apex crew, so. Yeah. We have a lot of fun back here. Toph starting off very aggressive this game. And Legend counterpicking to Dreamland. Uh, I do like this pick because he's not going to die quite as quickly. And uh, he does have some recovery options. And he has more of a wall to grapple to. Yeah. Rather than on Battlefield, it's just the, the one corner. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got more recover options. Like, he can recover a much, much lower this time around. Very nice double nair off the stage. It's going to take the stock. Yep. I feel like Lijin feels uh, a little bit more at home on the stage, it seems. He oh, messed yeah, up that edge guard last, last round, but he, he didn't uh, flub it up this game. So 
it's nice to see uh, him landing his combos and being able to execute the way he wants so we can get a good match. I just want to point out that the first time we saw Young Link really being prominent is when uh, our modified Hungry Box on this stage yep. at uh, with Genesis 2, I believe. So this is really a good uh, Young Link stage. Just because he's a very mobile character and he's got a lot of space to run around. As we're seeing, this is that's exactly how he's playing too. He's like, I'm a fast character, maybe not as fast as you, but I've got a lot of room to move around here. And if I see you coming, I can actually do something about it now. Ooh, this is the great yes. active hitbox of the up air. Love seeing a combo like that. Just up air, up air, down air. It's just it's a satisfying combo to do, it's a satisfying combo to see. So tries to go for, uh, for a very quick side B where he cut his jump short, but he cut it a little too short and uh, died for it. Love those bomb catches. And he's being sneaky with them too. Usually it's actually kind of easy to catch on uh, to whether or not a Link is going to want to re-catch their bomb because they're going to take their time with it. But he's doing it really quickly and he's doing it very well. I love his adaptation in this game. He's like, you yeah. want to play aggressive? You want to play aggressive? Here, yeah, run into this. Run into <laughs> yeah. this. Run into this. He's, he's, yep. he, you can see his attacks are nowhere near Fox, but Tolt is so aggressive right now that he's just running into everything. And yep. Legend is capitalizing on it perfectly. Great play. Solid two stock lead. He only took 19 damage on that last stock from Toph. Yeah, he's he's just reading him very very well right now. His approaches. We might see uh, Toph go into that dash dancey style that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, I think he got a little cocky oh, in the first oh. game, seeing that it was a young link. He's like, I got this, bro. No yeah. problem. And uh, he might rethink his strategy after this game. Yeah, you don't want to sleep on Link or Young Link. Yeah, definitely not. We've already seen a lot of adaptation here today at Apex 2014. So. Yeah. This, this match is still not over. Ooh, no. great, eh? It doesn't work quite as well with Young Link, but when Fox is recovering back onto the stage, if he's not going to sweet spot or maybe poke his head over there a little bit, you can do a forward tilt. Now with Young Link, obviously you just want to go for the down smash. Yep. I think the down smash might be a little quicker because the forward tilt starts from above. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a much quicker move. Yeah, so, All right. but I, I agree, he should go for some kind of aerial in case Fox misses, uh, not aerial, yeah. I'm sorry, normal, in case Fox misses the sweet spot. Insta counter Ooh. pick to Pokemon Stadium. Toph is, I, I hope he thinks about his match a little bit, because he was kind of running into a lot of attacks that last game, and he's going headstrong into this next match, let's see what he can do. I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty easy to see what his mistakes were in that match. What caused him to lose the match was just that he was very, very aggressive. Yeah. And, uh, like, this stage, it's th it's bigger. Well, not necessarily bigger than Dreamland, but it doesn't have as much vertical space for Lygian to run around on. And that's really key. The removal of the top platform kind of isolates Lygian to a specific side. And if Tolkien's uh, zero in on him, he might be able to do some real damage. Toph seems to be having a hard time dealing with these bombs. Out of the, the 93 damage that he's taken, at least it's been at least four or five bombs so far already in this game. Ryzen is doing a great job of very nice sucking them and catching them. Nice, new really player. nice mind games right there. Comes out with a bomb, drops it, and then goes in for an air. I love it. All right, so it's something interesting to know about Young Link is that he's a tumbling character. If Fox hits him with a shine, it has the same effect as it would on a space animal. He tumbles. He cannot wave shine Link. Young yeah. Link. That's very important in this matchup because uh, when Fox fights the older version, he gets a lot of mileage out of being able to wave shine and combo into up yeah. smash for kills. So Fox has to not only get the hits, but then he has to keep the hits going. And that's a really good way of keeping the hits going is not using the shine, just comboing aerial into aerial. Yeah, just using the nair plane, getting that thing up to full speed. Ooh, misses with the boomerang. Doesn't the eye that... Uh, that neutral air, but he survives. Really nice. He chose the safe option there. He said, I don't really want to time the down smash, so what I'm going to do is shield and then nair out of shield. Yep, great play by Lyzen so far. Tophus has a slight percent lead and now a stock lead. So let's see if Lyzen can uh, close this guy. Both players on tournament life now. So this is their last match of the tournament. Once somebody's going home. And Toph came a long way. He did. <laughs> Great pressure from Toph. You know, that can serve as extra motivation. It's like, hey, I traveled, you know, across the country, across the world to get to this tournament. I am not going to lose right now. And you can see Toph is playing a tad bit more conservative this game. There are some lasers. There's some running and shielding. He's not just going crazy with the attacks anymore. Yeah. And it's really proven to be effective this game. Yeah, I saw right there Toph actually started catching on to the throw a bomb, catch a bomb, throw it again uh, tactic that Lijin's been using. 
he uh, wave dash back or dash dance back or something like that to get to a punish, but Lijin covered it with a nair. Tilt is doing a great job with double lasers. You don't really see a lot of Fox, uh, a lot of Foxes employ double laser because it's so technically demanding on your hands. Yeah. But Tilt has no problem taking his lead with his double lasers. All right, so Lijin is taking a moment to collect his thoughts here. Three. Ooh. Nice combo off a bomb. Says, all right, if he's not going to work on you, I'll do three. We talked about in Legends earlier match how the bomb is such a great tool because it's multi-hit. Uh, it allows yeah. him to, it gives him a lot of, a big window of opportunity to follow up if the bomb lands on his opponent. So that's, that's how you saw he tumbled into that neutral air just now. And it's been a great tool for him this whole set. All right, nice recovery there. Trying to get a little fancy. Uh, I would like to see just a dash attack yeah. or, or a down smash. Like He doesn't need to be so fancy. I, especially at this point, he was three stocks down and uh, yep, both definitely. those could have gone south for him. Yep, really quickly. Great back air by Toph. Ooh, right. hit by a bomb. Can Lyja capitalize? Um. Toph starting to read, oh, okay. Great match by Lyja. Great showing by Lyja today. Yeah, absolutely. That was uh, I, I really enjoyed watching all of his matches, all of his tricks. It's really nice to see someone come in with a newer character that's yep. not really explored and you know really show off and impress with him. Yeah.